Mr Speaker, I know you feel very strongly about this. The scenes yesterday of MPs queuing to vote and members being unable to vote were frankly shameful. This should not be a political issue. Members on all sides know that this is completely unnecessary and unacceptable. If any other employer behaved like this, it would be a clear and obvious case of indirect discrimination under the Equalities Act. A clear and obvious case. So can I urge the Prime Minister to stop this and to continue to allow online voting and the hybrid parliament to resume? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I, again, I, look, I, 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 must, I, I do think that the, the Right Honourable Gentleman needs to consider what is really going on throughout the country, where ordinary people are, are getting used to, to queuing uh, for, for long periods of time to do their shopping uh, or, or whatever it happens to be. I must say, I do, not think it un, I do not think it unreasonable that we should ask parliamentarians to come back to this place and do their job for the people of this country. And I know it's difficult. I know it's different. I'm, I apologise. I apologise to colleagues for the inconvenience, and I, and I apologise to all those who are, and I apologise to all those who have particular difficulties with it because they are shielded or because they are elderly. And, and it's vital that they should. And, and the change we're making today is that they they should be able to vote by proxy. They should be able to vote by proxy. But I, I have to say, Mr. Speaker, when when the people of this country look at what we are doing, asking schools. He now says he supports going schools to go back. I mean, our, our, our policy is is, is test. Test, trace and isolate. His, his policy is agree, U-turn and then criticise.